All right, so just quick on subtracting polynomials. So this is an expression, right, because there's no equal sign, right? So we're not going to get an answer. We're just going to get it simplified. Why are you laughing? I'm, I'm, I'm making a video right now. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. One more time, I'm saying your name. I'm posting your picture. If you see this person... She only, you don't recognize her. She only has one arm. Just, just kidding me. She has two arms, but one of them is really, really short. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> but to make up for her really short arm, she has an enormous hand. <laughs> and one big foot. One little tiny one. Okay, I'm, I, I'm really sorry. I apologize. Hey, don't, don't turn the video off. Keep watching. It gets better. I, I couldn't get worse. <laughs> All right, so here we go with this. Sorry. That was too much fun. I, <laughs> she's tipping over. Help her. Let's give her a parachute. Maybe she's going down the stairs. Which is good on the first stair. The second stair is where she gets hurt. <laughs> first off, she got that little short thing. And also, the next step is that far down. <laughs> Maturity. My name is Mr. Maturity. Math teacher extraordinaire. Okay. <laughs> so what are we going to do here? What's the problem here? First off, people are going to misunderstand this problem. They're going to think this is what kind of problem. Yeah, I'm afraid they're going to think it's a multiplication problem because people tend to do that. They see sets of brackets and they say this is multiplication. This is not. This is subtraction, right? There's the, the negative sign there, right? So I guess two things to keep in mind. One, that I, what I do to get rid of these principles, I just pretend that there's a positive one out here. Pretend this is a negative one, and I'm just going to distribute, right? So that would look like this, wouldn't it? I'm going to distribute completely. A booger. Here, 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 right? Complete distribution in it. Here, here, and here, right? What happens here? Absolutely nothing happens here. I'm sorry, but just so we know how we satisfy these parentheses 19x plus 5. But here, what happens? Yeah, the signs switch, so we get instead of positive 19x squared, we get negative 19x squared plus 4x minus 9. Is that good math? <coughs> now what? Yeah, gather like terms. So gather like terms here, right? It, we have 6x squared here and negative 19. That's what? Sure, negative 13x squared, right? Using a little bit of Einsteinian advice here, right? Why remember what's written down? So I'm checking them off as I use them. I'm going to go to the x's now. Negative 19x is here, and positive 4x is here is negative 15x. Remember that you can only add or subtract things that have the same variable and the same exponential value, right? And lastly, we're going to add negative 9 plus 5 happens to be negative 4. So there's our solution, right? So this is, right, and what did we do here? We simplified, right? All right, one more. Should we bring her with us? I think there's a way. Hold on. God, she's gaining weight. <laughs> Whoa. God. Let's move on to the second problem. Got two words for her. Jenny Craig. No, honey, her. Oh, now I feel bad about myself. Oh. I sincerely apologize. I was not talking to you. I have a video witness. Come on here. What are we going to do with this negative 2 here? Yeah, distribute the negative 2 here, right? Distribute the negative 2. Yeah. We always have this much fun in class because we have team money with us. Team money makes learning fun. <laughs> Team money. Oh, my name is Team Money. I am a doctor. I work for the basketball team. 
All right. So when we distribute this positive 1, this all stays the same, doesn't it? So we have 3x cubed plus 10x plus 5. What, what does this turn into as we distribute this? We get what here? Negative 2x cubed. I swear to God, one of my students over there yawning real nice. Mommy, mommy, why don't I have any friends? Oof, I don't know. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8x's, right? Negative 2 times positive 6 is negative 12. Yes? Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> and you know this, man. Hi, my name's Cleveland. I'll be teaching the rest of this lesson. Cleveland, don't you recognize me? <laughs> I'm Cleveland from Winnemucca, Ohio near the New Mexico border. I know, but they don't border each other. <laughs> so we have 3x cubed here, negative 2x cubed here. That gives us 1x cubed. We have 10x's here. 8x is there for a total of... Nothing. <laughs> no! Of 18x's, you weirdo. I know, right? I called you a weirdo. I apologize. It's the sign. It's the sign. Five plus negative twelve. Negative seven. Well, I almost wrote negative seven. Yeah. All right. So there's our answer there. Well, let's listen to our video and see if it. Oh, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it. I can't tell you my name, but my initials are LC.